let's consider an aluminum automobile frame girder. It's uh, two meters in length and it's got a cr cross-sectional dimensions of 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters. And the wall thickness is, so it's a thin wall tube, it's aluminum, so the shear module says 30 GPA. And the top and bottom walls are half a millimeter and the side walls are three quarters of a millimeter thick. And let's ask ourselves the question of trying to find the torsional stiffness of this girder. So that's the ratio of the applied torque to the rotation at the point of application. And this is a perfect example of using our kinematic relationship that we derive from energetic principles. So uh, using that relationship, we have that the rotation is equal to the applied torque times the length divided by 2AE squared divided by the shear modulus times the closed loop integral of 1 over TDS. So the expression for the stiffness can be found just by rearranging the terms here and I find that the torsional stiffness is 4AE squared G divided by the length of the tube divided by the closed loop integral of 1 over TDS. So really the only thing that's difficult here I already know what most of these terms are is just simply that integral. And the way we do that integral is by breaking it up into pieces over which 1 over t is a constant. So that makes it a, a rather straightforward thing to do. So if I, if I integrate first on the right side here, uh, I'll have 1 over 0 0.75 times the length of that side, which is 100. Then I can integrate over the top piece here. I'll have 1 over 0 0.5 times 200. And then if I go over the left side and the bottom piece, I'm going to pick up the exact same terms again, so I can multiply by 2. And the result then is 1.06 repeated times 10 to the 3. And there are no dimensions on that because I have 1 over distance and I have distance here, so they cancel each other out. So I can now plug everything back into my expression. So I have 4 times the area squared times the shear modulus, and so I've converted that into consistent units, newtons per millimeter squared now, divided by the length, millimeters, and divided by my integral of 1 over TDS. Punching that into my calculator, I then find that the torsional stiffness is 22.5 kilonewton meters per radian. So the rotational rates in all of these types of calculations come out in radians.